Hello friends, in this video, I will explain you the complete online application process for ESIC Ward of IP certificate. This online application process is available in official website of ESIC. This ESIC Ward of IP certificate, which is useful to get the admissions into MBBS, EDS and BSc nursing courses based on the NEET score obtained in NEET UG 2024 examination through All India Quota and State NEET Counselings. Now, let us see how to apply for online application to get the ESIC Ward of IP certificate. Here you can see this is the ESIC official website. ESIC means Employees State Insurance Corporation. This is the full form. Okay. For this ESIC quota admission process, ESIC employees are insured persons. Both are eligible to get the admission in this ESIC quota. The, the student must be a ward of insured person or ESIC employee. Now here you can see to get the latest notifications re related to the admission of uh, these courses, you should click on admissions tab. Okay. Here you can see already I have mentioned with tick mark. Okay. Th then you can see these latest notifications. Okay. Here you can see the published date also. Okay. Here you can see clearly the latest notifications has been released recently. Okay. In this admissions tab page. Okay. From this table, you can check the recent notifications came from New Delhi or other states because the every notification related to ESIC should be published only through only from New Delhi. The remaining states will announce the latest notifications based on the notifications received from headquarters. Okay. Here you can see these are the two latest notifications on 3rd May. These two notifications are related to the rescheduled dates of ESIC Ward of IP certificate application process. Okay. Here you can see this is the revised schedule. Activation of link on ESIC website. It is available from 3rd May 2024. Next, applying online for issue of Ward of IP certificate. This is from 3rd May 2024 to 23rd May 2024. Student link will be deactivated at 23.59 hours. So that means the last date up to 23rd May at 23.59 hours only. Later on, this link will be closed Okay, or deactivated. Next, the last date for issue of what of IP certificate by RO, SRO. RO means regional office, SRO means sub-regional office. So the ward of IP certificates will be issued only by these two offices. Okay. So the ward of IP certificate will be issued on or before 27th May 2024. Okay. Students, please note these dates. Okay. These are very important. Here you can see this is the link to apply for what of IP certificate. This link is available in the official website under these pictures. Okay. So you should click on this what of IP certificate link. Then this what of IP certificate login page will open. In this, you should enter all these details. I have mentioned each and every data very clearly in these boxes with the arrow marks. So here you should fill all these details. First one, IP number. So this is the insured person IP number. Okay, it is available on ESIC IP card. It is a 10 digit IP number. Okay, that is a parent's ESIC IP card number. Okay, next, you should fill need role number. Student need role number, which is available on admit card. Next, mobile number. Enter mobile number of insured person. This mobile number should be linked to your ESIC account. If not linked to your ESIC account, immediately you should link. So, you should contact nearest regional office. There, you should link your mobile number to your account. Then only you have a facility to log in to this Word of IP certificate. Otherwise, this provision is not available for you. Okay. And... Uh, User manual also they have attached with this Word of IP page. Okay, you should click on here and read carefully in this user manual. In this, they have explained each and every step related to the online application process. Okay.
enter OTP received on registered mobile number and click on validate. Okay, this OTP will be received to your registered mobile number. Okay, then click on validate. Next, enter student details. Here, select ward. You should click on here. Next, name of ward. Student name, you should type here. Next, date of birth. St student date of birth only, you should enter. Next, gender. If male, M. If female, F. You have to mention. Next, relation with IP. Son or daughter, you have to mention here. Okay. Next one, application filling. Here, you can see there are two types of data required. The first one is particulars of IP. That is insured person's details you have to fill in these four rows. The below part, what are beneficiary particulars. So that is the student's details you have to fill. Here also I have mentioned the complete explanation how to fill all these boxes. The first one is insurance number. This is nothing but IP number, okay, which is available on your IP card. Already you have entered during the login process also, okay. The same number you should enter here. IP number also called as insurance number. Next, name of the IP. So, this should be same as name on the ESIC card, IP card. Next, contact number. Here you should give the contact number for further reference and communication. Next, email address. You should enter your email address. Okay. Here you should observe that this contact number may not be the same, just like the linked mobile number to your ESIC account. Okay. Because this is a contact number. That is, this number is useful for further reference and communication. Okay. Next, what of beneficiary particulars? Should you enter the student name? neutral number according to NEET UG 2024 examination. This is available on admit card, which is a 10 digit number. Next, re-enter neutral number. So, the same number you should re-enter here. Next, NEET application number. This NEET application number also available on your admit card. This number had 12 digits. Next, date of birth of ward. The student's date of birth you should enter. Next, age of the ward as yes, on 15-4-2024. That is, as yes, on 15th April 2024, you should calculate your age and should write in terms of years and months. Okay. For male students, the cutoff age is 21 years as yes, on 15-4-2024. If the student male had about 21 years, that student is not eligible to apply under this ESIC quota. For female students, there is no age limit. Next to gender, you should enter M R F. If boy, M. If girl, F. You should enter. Next to contact number. This number also should be the same like the above mentioned contact number of your IP or parent. Next to email address. This email address may be your parent's email ID. Okay. Next one. Upload passport says photos of student and insured person. Here you should click on choose file and upload student's photograph. The size should be 5 kilobytes to 50 kilobytes only. Okay. It should not be less than 5 kilobytes or more than 50 kilobytes. Then click on upload. Similarly, you should upload the insured person that okay, parents passport says photograph here. The size of the photo here also same. Next to upload required documents of student in any format like PDF, PNG, JPG or Excel sheet. Okay. The first one is a copy of NEET admit card. Okay. NEET 2024 admit card you have to upload. For that you should click on choose file then you should upload your certificate. Next to Secondary school certificate, that is a 10th class marks list or date of birth certificate. Anyone you can upload. Okay. Third one is a copy of affidavit for female candidate. If the student is female candidate, you have to upload two affidavits. That is affidavit 4 and affidavit 5. Affidavit 4 is related to the student. Affidavit 5 is related to insured person. Okay. These two affidavits we have to merge as a single document and then upload. The size of these documents also mentioned here. Each and every document size should be between 10 kilobytes to 200 kilobytes only. Even for these two affidavits merged file also, you have to upload only with size of 10 kilobytes to 200 kilobytes. Okay. 
Next, click on preview. Okay. Next, check all entries once. Okay. And then click on submit. Suppose if you find any mistakes in this entered data, then you should click on close and go back and recorrect it. Then you should follow the same procedure and then finally click on submit. Okay. Next, click on OK. When you click on OK, then your application is submitted successfully. Next, again, you should log in with login details. Here, IP number, this is the IP number available on IP card of insurance insured person. Next, neutral number, mobile number. This should be same as the linked mobile number to your ESIC account. Next, click on login. Then, enter OTP again and then click on validate. Now you should see the status of your what of IP certificate, okay, whether it is approved or not, okay. After you submit the online application, it takes three or four days to approve your what of IP certificate so that you should wait and the official website regularly to check the status of your, your what of IP certificate. If you receive the status as approved, then you should click on this download. Then you will get the, the what of IP certificate. Okay. Suppose if your what of IP certificate online application is rejected, they will mention the reason also for rejection. Okay. Then you are not eligible under the ESSC quota to get the admission into MBBS, BDS and BSc nursing. Okay. Next, this is the sample word of IP certificate. Here, I have given very important data. Actually, if the student is female, then you have to upload two affidavits. Okay, already I told you. So, during the filling of affidavits, we have to fill the ESI Activate Code Number. Okay, this ESI Activate Code Number means Employees Code Number. This is the one sample transaction. In this, you can see the employee's code number and the employee's name. These data you have to fill on the affidavits. Okay. Here you can see this is the affidavit for by female student only. In this, easily you can understand each and every space I have mentioned in boxes with a clear explanation. The first one is the, the dependent, the dependent miss student name you have to write here. Used used means maybe 17 years or 18 years just you should specify the number you should calculate the number of years as on april 15th 2024 okay next one in the second one here sri or srimati this is the insured person name you have to write is employed with the factory establishment wise this is your organization name or job place name you have to mention here okay Suppose if you are working in college, then you have to write your college name. Suppose if you are working in any offices, any, any other offices, you, you should mention your office name. Okay. Covered under ESI, covered under ESI Act by the code number. You should enter the 17 digits employees code. Just before I have explained where you get it. Okay. Next to the father or mother of the dependent is beneficiary under the ESA Act having insurance number. Insurance number means it is to IP number. And next to the student should sign here. Okay. Next one, verification. Here also verified yet means a student's resident or city name you should write here. Okay. Next to on this, just to, uh, on which day you are going to submit affidavit, just to, you should mention the date of uh, that particular day. Okay. Next one now. So here also, student has to sign. Next, this affidavit by female student should be typed on 100 rupees stamp paper and also notarized. The procedure to prepare the affidavit is you should purchase 100 rupees stamp paper at a registrar office. Then you should type this data on that 100 rupees stamp paper on single page. The student has to sign at these two dependent places. Okay. Next one. If it be to five by insured person only, this is by only parent. Okay. Here also you should write the data. The first one is your organization name or factory name or job name, whatever it is. Next job place name, whatever it is. Next to ESI act wide code number means 17 digits employer's code. Next 
year insurance mean insurance number means ip number dependent's daughter that is a student's name you have to write here the, stu the age of student you have to write here just you should write the number itself number only next student name next in third also you should write the same student name the here the insured person has to sign and uh, at this place also here also insured person resident or city name you should write here and date here also you should follow the same process to get this if it is 5 this is also on 100 rupees stamp paper after okay you should type this data on 100 rupees stamp paper then only the insured person has to sign at these two places of deponent i hope you understand the complete process of online application filling to get the what of ip certificate from esic for the admission of mbps bds and bsc if you like my video please subscribe to my channels here here i am doing english videos in all exams info channel and the telugu videos in menlo tutorials channel please subscribe to these two channels and support me and also i am running paid telegram group for neat counseling from last year so many people are joined this year also i hope many students or parents will join into this telegram group here this is the link to join this telegram group to get the guidance and support regarding the need counseling if you are interested to join this telegram group i will give you the link in comment box and also in description box under the here there are three plans to join this group the first one is for 15 days 300 rupees for one month 600 rupees for six months 3500 rupees i am not insisting you to join telegram group first you should try for 15 days if you like my services then you should continue otherwise you can ignore it okay if you have any doubts please comment in comment box i will definitely help you to clarify your doubts please like and share my videos to your friends thank you and wish you all the best